Merle's son Ben posted on his Facebook page that his father knew he was near the end. Ben says his father uh, took his last breath surrounded by family and friends. He said his father wasn't just a country singer, he was the best country singer that ever lived. And for more on Merle Haggard's impact, we turn now to Rolling Stone contributor Joe Levy. Joe, always good to see you. Good to see you. This man was country music. Yeah, this is an incredible, incredible performer, singer, and songwriter. Over 35 number one country hits. Uh, born in the 1930s, still in his 70s, making good records. And making good records after a bout with lung cancer in 2008. He lost half a lung, kept on singing, kept going. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the man behind the music. Of course, his uh, devastating loss uh, to cancer there. Yeah, you know, uh, he's, he's such an interesting character. There's a, a way of looking at Merle Haggard. He was the figure that some people sang about. So Johnny Cash used to say, Merle, you're the guy people think I am from my songs. He really did, as he said in one of his songs, turn 21 in prison. He wasn't doing life without parole, which is the rest of that lyric, but he turned 21 in solitary in prison. And he's uh, most famously known for Oki from Muskogee. I'm from Oklahoma, so we know a lot about that song there yeah. and Fighting Side of Me. But uh, you say those songs didn't actually represent what he was saying. Well, I think they didn't represent the whole of him. And he himself would say this in later years. They pigeonholed him a little bit as a, 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 a cowboy boot wearing guy who didn't like hippies. That's what Oki from Muskogee is really about. Um, his life was a little wilder than that, and his thinking was a little freer than that. You know, five years separate Merle Haggard and Bob Dylan, and in 1965-66, there were two songs on the radio describing how it felt to be a Rolling Stone, and one is Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone, and the other is Merle Haggard's Lonesome Fugitive. These are really two guys singing about the same things with slightly different styles of music behind them. Can you talk about his greatest hits, some of the other ones? Oh, Silver Wings, a beautiful song about loss, about somebody leaving on a big silver bird, an incredible song, but also these great country honky-tonk songs, Tonight the Bottle Let Me Down, Swinging Doors, songs that seem to define country music in the late 1960s. Uh, and so many other songs. There's a great Merle Haggard song called If We Make It Through December if from 1973 about December, a, a guy trapped in the recession who's lost his job, a, a song that has a lot of resonance today in our own economic world. He did so much to to move country music forward. Um, he, he liked to say, his guys in his band like to say, we don't just play country, we play country jazz. Uh, he, he played all sorts of different music. He made records that looked backwards to Jimmy Rogers and Bob Wills, these guys who came before him, and he made records that pointed the direction forward as well. And a uh, final question, what do you think his legacy will be? Uh, the great songs, um, but also the indomitable spirit, uh, a guy who loved music and just kept going. Never stopped. He had concert dates that he had canceled just last December when he was hospitalized with pneumonia. Wow. All right. He will be missed. All right, Joe Levy, thank you. Thank you.